What's up machine freaks? Hope you guys are feeling froggy fresh and fly to death. Today the Gator is in the garage and there are no bikes to be seen except for the KTM. KTM is, you can see it. I had to pull out the Honda and the Suzuki uh, yesterday to bring this in here last night and I will tell you what, I finally was like, you know what? I'm just gonna slam on the freaking gas. So I went over there to that pedal there on the right, just pinned that thing and all four wheels just went out of control in my yard. It was absolutely beautiful, and this thing is an absolute machine. Jason will be out today. He is not here yet, but we have some welding to do. Uh, we have some riding to do. He has yet to ride this thing, and man, at this angle, that thing looks good. Yeah. So what we gotta start doing is protecting us and uh, making this thing look a little bit more froggy fresh. It, it already runs well, it already drives well, it stops good, it goes good. So, I have a bunch of metal, let's start laying it down. Just disconnected the battery, so we don't have to worry about that. We can start welding and grinding on this sucker. Well, we have some good news and we have some bad news. The good news is the Gator's coming along froggy freshly. The bad news is our Ram has died. We've had a memorial service for it. I think it was all the going through the water. So this time around, when we buy a new one, what we'll do is instead of having it mounted down by the, you know, the floor or the ground, we'll have the electrical part mounted up here so just like mud gets on it once in a while and it doesn't go through like water. I should have done that to begin with, but I didn't. So I'll start with telling you what I've done. Put this plate here. I've then welded this plate here. You saw me weld. I don't think you saw me paint these plates, but all those are on. Uh, this one is to protect, you know, deflect the dirt and mud from coming up here and getting onto our clutch and our belt. I also have the clutch cover that's being painted outside. I also rerouted the throttle so we don't have this disgusting throttle system here. We got a whole new system. It goes, it starts here and it goes right under this plate and over there. And now it works better and we get a little bit more throw too. So we're, I mean, this thing's gonna have all all its power. That's kind of neat, huh? Jason's been working on this thing. You like that thing? That's all right. Wow, hey, the, everything doesn't sound like it's click, click, clacking. Looks good, fuel pump's working. Yeah, I got all the cool We have things. to do, we have to seal that sometime soon. But yeah, he's been mostly messing with that. He's got the wires ran for the new Ram. Jason's currently filling up with the Gator tires. This is our huge air compressor at the moment. My 60 gallon still isn't here. Uh, I thought to do something about that. Now we're making this work. We have the clutch cover that I mentioned earlier in the vlog on. This will be green. We just ran out of green paint, so it's just etched for now. So we're at my dad's 50th birthday party. We brought the gator here. I think we need to test we have to see how fast this thing goes. It runs really well. I gotta download an app first though, because I don't have that app, the speedometer app. So the poles are in. Jason's gonna take 50 miles an hour. I'm taking 45 miles an hour. And my dad is gonna, he's splitting the difference and he's saying 47. 47, yeah. Well, if it does 50, then hey, we went a mile per hour for every year he's been on this earth. Yeah, I'm gonna say 45. It gets up there. It, it can get out of the hole quick. With that, it should be, if it does hit 50 or if it goes higher, we should see how long it takes. Do you, do you think it tops off as quick as it takes off? <clears throat> I'm hoping not. That driven pulley is pretty big. Yeah. We'll see. 12K RPM? Red yeah, line. I'm not sure. It is a 10K. 10K? 10K, so she'll probably do 13. 
But yeah, we got the we got the belt cover on. So if anything goes bad, I think that's the worst thing that could happen is the belt fly off. The second uh, worst thing could be that this just go wobbles out of control. Final thing is uh, the brakes for some reason just don't work. And I have shorts on, so I don't really want to jump off. Well, I put the brakes on, so there's a good chance they won't work. No, you put them on, so it's a good chance, it's a better chance that they work than if I were to put them on. But we still have our shorty exhaust on. I have a different exhaust, so we'll compare the results on this exhaust to our other exhaust, Jason. The other exhaust looks better, and it's supposed to quiet it up a little bit more, so it'll probably take a little bit of horsepower away. So, hey, now's the time to do a good compare and contrast. This is why we're doing it, folks, because we have the new and improved brake system. Before, it was cable-driven. Now, we have hydraulics. And they're gold. Ish. Ish. We have some problems here. Not, uh, not a huge surprise, given the fact that I tipped this thing on the side with the battery still in the frame. Uh, before, we thought, at least I thought, it was okay because it started and ran a few different times, but now... We're getting up here and we've ran it more than we ever have and the battery and or other stuff that was soaked in battery acid is now giving us dilemmas which kind of sucks given the fact that we have wide open road to ride this thing right now now we got gun oil in on this yep <laughs> just as loud at the top of the hill. Right? <laughs> 500 yards down the road as it was right next to it. Gator and I 
I survived. The testing process on this thing is definitely extensive, and the fact that we have an engine that's 11 times the horsepower, everything else, it wasn't made to, to have that kind of horsepower, speed, anything like that. So, of course, the testing process will take a little bit longer. We found out that this definitely has to be modded out. I think, honestly, we could get this thing to do 75, 80 miles an hour, honestly. Uh, however, I don't want it to go that fast because when one of you guys win it, if you choose to win the Gator, you can choose either the KTM or the Honda as well. If somebody chooses this, I don't want this thing to like be a death trap. I was definitely sketched out with my shorts on and my helmet going the speeds that I did. And I, I don't think I really, it could probably go faster than I was doing. Did I wuss out? No. Absolutely I wussed out. I was wearing shorts and a t-shirt. I didn't want to fall off this thing. And then the last update that I'll leave you guys with is all you guys that are becoming 3D members, um, the live stream, the private exclusive live stream, will probably, will probably go live sometime next week. You'll get your email, just like we promised, on the 3dmachines.co website. And we'll tear into one of the giveaway items on the live stream. I hope you guys enjoyed this sketchy speed test. Until next time, enjoy your weekend. Stay froggy fresh, 3D Machines out. Oh, 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 oh,